OK, good morning, Private Learning Trust. How are we doing? We're all good today. So my name's Peter and I'm just going to take some time to talk to you a little bit about what we can offer you here at City of Bristol College. OK, because the time's approaching and we will get that ball rolling. Awesome. So why study at City of Bristol College? So you can see that bunch of reasons. OK, really important to us. So things like um, employer links. We've got great links after you finish. Um, we offer we train you in careers, not courses. OK, everything that we do, it's for your best interest. We've got amazing facilities. Our teachers, they're professionals first and then they teach. OK, so our engineering staff, for instance, they're engineers first and teachers second. OK, so their knowledge is impeccable. Um, we're going to help you find your independence. OK, we've got levels to suit everyone. We understand that your GCSEs might not go to plan. Absolutely fine. Not a problem. We'll help you and support you and find that right pathway for you. OK, so choosing what to study. Really important decision. It's probably one of the biggest decisions you guys are going to make for, for a while now. And um, there's a few things that I want you to think about so you can see there. What will you enjoy learning? Because that's the main thing. We don't want you to be here for a couple of years and not enjoy it. OK, what's your dream career? That's a great decision. You know, you've got to choose that. Um, how would you like to learn? Uh, are you an academic person or a bit more practical? Because that's going to determine the courses and the pathway that you go. Uh, are you getting the best advice from your parents, your guardians, your family, your friends, your teachers, your careers advisors? Make sure that advice you get is great. Um, what will you do when you finish this course? That's important. I know it's too a little bit too soon yet, but I want you to have a little idea of what you want to do after college. OK, now on the other side of the screen there, you'll see a little map, a little way to choose your qualification. If you just follow those guides, um, that's a little rough idea of how we like to work. OK, so let's have a look at academic learning and practical learning. Um, if you go down, you've got options. There. So you've got T-levels, A-levels, apprenticeships and technical. Follow that one and that should help you out a little bit there. OK, awesome. So let's have a look at our centre. So the first one there is College Green. That's our main city centre centre. City centre centre. <laughs> uh, so that's our home to our art studios, our city salon, our city restaurant. Um, we've got our games design studios there, our fashion studios are there, which are really good. Um, and of course, our science and our A levels are based there. Next one we've got is our South Bristol Skills Academy. And that's home to our construction centre, our animal care centre, um, some more catering kitchens. Um, and my favourite is the travel hub. OK, if you've got an idea that you want to work uh, on aeroplanes, cabin crew, pilots, uh, or even overseas as concierge, that's the, the course for you. OK, now we've also got our advanced engineering centre and that's home to our engineering, be it mechanical, electrical and aerospace. OK, it's also home to our motor vehicle centre uh, where we look at our heavy vehicles and our light vehicles. Uh, so you'll see some of the things that we offer there. Um, our 3D printing workshop, our avionics lab, um, our jet engine rooms are great. So if you're definitely thinking about engineering as a pathway, that's where you'll be. OK, so let's have a look at your options. OK, so you've got a few different options. The so first one is your technical and vocational courses. So these are a bit more practical based. So you'll see there things like construction, creative arts, engineering, uh, motor vehicle, travel and tourism, things that are a bit more of a trade, if you like. Main thing to look at there is your maths and English GCSEs. OK, um, you normally need a grade four and above in those to, to get onto those courses. So now's the time to work. OK, as far as how you'll be taught and how you learn, these are practical courses, so a lot of coursework. Some of the some of the courses have exams, but that's things like engineering and aerospace. Uh, but it's definitely practical based for you. OK, now if you're a bit more academic, we'll look at A levels. OK, so the most important thing here is the GCSEs. You need six GCSEs from four to nine on this one. OK, very competitive IA levels. Um, some of the subjects that you can do on the side of the screen there, uh, you've got five different pathways. You don't have to choose GCSEs from, uh, sorry, A levels from those pathways. OK, you can mix and match. So you could do politics, English and art if you wanted to. OK, so next one's our T levels, which is new for this year. Now, T levels, they're a bit more practical. It kind of bridges that gap between an apprenticeship and a vocational course. So you'll spend about four to five days in the year out on a workplace and kind of like work experience, uh, just a bit more in depth. OK, um, we only offer four of those. So you can see on the side of the screen there we've got engineering for construction, planning for construction and design. We've got digital production and education and childcare. OK, so if you more, want more information about that, please do let your teachers know and they can reach out to me. OK, so an apprenticeship that's next. Um, apprenticeship is a great, great way to learn. OK, uh, the main selling point of those you're getting paid whilst you're learning. OK, you're only in college about maybe one, two days a week. Just do the theory side, but the rest you're out on the job. OK, uh, you can see on the side of the screen, we've got a few sort of apprenticeships that we offer in health and social care, hair and beauty, construction, engineering, computing and motor vehicle. OK, um, again, 
GCSE is still important on these ones, but every employer is different. They want different entry requirements. So if there's something that you do want to do with an apprenticeship, let us know and we'll help you find it. OK, cool. So how do we support our students? So we all need support sometimes. You know, I need support. I'm sure your teachers need support. OK, now we offer a bunch of support there. So you've got one to one support, financial support, safeguarding, OK, and individual learning support. Now here at the college, we have like an open door policy. OK, if you want to talk to someone, just come on in, OK? We're always, my door's always open, everyone's always open, OK? Now, what we've also got is our Talk Campus, um, which is a little platform to, where you can share and discuss what's on your mind for your mental health and your wellbeing, OK? Really big for us, OK? Awesome. So how do you apply? Straight, easy. Onto our website, find the course, click that Apply button, OK? So main thing for there is you're exploring your options, OK? I don't want you just to apply to City of Bristol. I want you to apply to loads of different places because it's good to have options. Your plan's going to change, OK? Once you've done that, come to an open event, have a little look around, meet some of the staff, then you can make your application. And finally, you'll come to a little course meeting where you might sit and chat with me about the course, the entry criteria, what your plans are, like an informal interview, if you like, OK? Awesome. So. We want you to stay connected with us, OK, because that's where you're going to find all the information, all the updates. So we're on all social media. You might even see my face on TikTok every now and then, which is amazing. OK, so please do follow us. And finally, our open events. OK, these are the really important dates for you to come down, meet us and have a look around. OK, so you can see there there's six different dates throughout the year. OK, the first one's coming up 8th of October. It's a Saturday, um, so please do get onto our website and book on. OK, I'll leave those on the screen for you as we, as we finish. Uh, but any questions? please do ask your teachers they'll get in touch with me and we can go from there okay it's lovely to meet you all and hopefully i'll see you through our doors soon thank you guys cheers